Yo guys, insanegamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you the best ways to farm skeleton keys in DMZ. Alright, so skeleton keys are keys that can be used to open any locked location and are extremely useful for missions where there aren't guaranteed ways to get the keys you need. Well, it turns out that every map actually has a different bartering recipe for them, and they come with different amounts of uses too. On Almazra, you need a GPU for a skeleton key with 3 uses. On Building 21, you need 3 encrypted hard drives for a skeleton key with 2 uses. And on Ashika, you need a vintage wine, video cassette recorder, and an encrypted hard drive for a skeleton key with 1 use. The fastest way to farm these is absolutely playing Building 21 since you can easily find 6 or even 9 encrypted hard drives in a single run. There are tons of computers in the offices on every floor, so you shouldn't have much trouble finding at least 3 per run assuming you can stay alive. Unfortunately, Building 21 is only open for 3 days a week, so you can't always go there. The next best thing is to get a secure backpack and take items between the maps. It's easier to get a GPU on Ashika and a vintage wine and VCRs on Almazra, but unfortunately the barter recipes for those items are on the other map. Well, if you get a secure bag, you can carry items between matches and you'll even keep them for the match that you die in. So to make a secure backpack, you need a gold skull, electric drill, and a gas can. Since electric drills are hard to find on Ashika, you will want to find these items on Almazra. Thankfully, you can get a gold skull from killing the scavenger, juggernaut, chemist, or pyro. The most common spawns for the pyro are at the post office, US embassy, and control tower, but he can spawn in random strongholds too. The juggernaut can spawn in Zarqua Hydroelectric, Zaya Observatory, and Alsharim Pass. The scavenger will spawn on a random dead player on the map, so you have to keep an eye out for a pulsing red circle to find him and the chemist will always spawn inside the radiation zone. The easiest way to find these guys is to do secure intel missions until they're revealed on your map. Once you get a gold skull, you need to find an electric drill, which is most common in toolboxes and as ground loot on shelves. The best areas to find these are in warehouses like Hafid Port and Almazra City. Once you find an electric drill, just head to the nearest gas station which should have a gas can. And finally, take all three of these items to a buy station and you can barter for a secure backpack. Now that you have a secure backpack, you need to get a GPU. The Suki Castle Weapons Locker has about a 50% chance of having a GPU in it, but thankfully there are 3 lockers per match, so hopefully at least one will have it. The next best bet is going to the Main Harbor Control, which just has a high chance of spawning rare ground loot that can include a GPU if you're lucky. If neither of those work or you don't have those keys, then don't worry, there is a third way to get a guaranteed GPU. On Ashika Island, you can barter for a GPU with 2 gold bars and 5 thumb drives. Thumb drives are most common in computers, but can also be found in toolboxes, so the best places to check are the waterways, Ogoniku Farms, and Port Ashika. Gold bars are a little harder to find, but you should be able to find 2 per match without too much trouble. Many of the locked locations on Ashika either have guaranteed gold bars or have a high chance of spawning them. On the screen right now are all the keys that you want to keep an eye out for when farming for gold bars. Some of these can also include other keys as part of their loot, so can be pretty helpful with continuing your farming run. Other ways to get gold bars that aren't quite as consistent are looting strongholds and capturing supply drops. I have made guides on every key location in DMZ, so if you don't know where a key is, then check out the playlist linked in the description below. When you have 2 gold bars and 5 thumb drives, head to the nearest buy station and barter for a GPU. Once you have a GPU, you should immediately head to the nearest expo to secure for the next match in your secure backpack. Then just load into a game on Amazra and head to the nearest buy station and you'll be able to barter for a skeleton key with 3 uses. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up! And feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.